In today's video, we're going to be using Chat GPT Model 4 to get us an SEO ranking, keyword friendly blog post for our business website. Now, there's a lot of misinformation out there online about Chat GPT's ability to write SEO friendly content. Now I could understand for version three and 3.5, it might've been the case, but version four of chat GPT is insane. And we're not even going to scratch the surface today. We're talking about something that's not that advanced, something as simple as writing a blog post, but ensuring that it's SEO friendly and it's humanized because the biggest problem with AI tools is it writes like AI. Because the big concern is that platforms like Google can recognize AI written content and it would actually push its rankings lower as a result of that. I do agree a lot of AI platforms, that is the case, but not with ChatGPT4. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to the computer and get started. That way we can get into the meat of this and I'll explain as we go. I'm going to walk you through the whole process. We are going to rely on ChatGPT4 for every step of this process. So we're gonna open up a new chat, which we have here. And for model, we're actually going to select GPT4. And this is crucial because if you don't do that, then it's actually going to use ChatGPT 3.5. So in order to write a blog post, we need a title for said blog post. So we're gonna get ChatGPT to write us some titles. And whenever I go to ask chat for something, I always talk to it like it's a person, even though it sounds stupid, but it gives it context, right? And it can retain context of conversation. It can retain hundreds of messages back and forth in one chat, which is why it's crucial to give it an ongoing context. So, hey, can you help me come up with a list of blog titles for a blog post about SEO in the industry of marketing. I need these titles to rank well with SEO. It's kind of funny when you think about it. It says, of course, here are 10 blog post titles optimized for SEO, focusing on marketing and the SEO industry. So that's fantastic. So off the bat, we have unlocking the secrets of SEO, top strategies for marketing success, the ultimate guide to SEO for marketers, boost your online presence, mastering SEO in the marketing world, essential tips and tricks, the future of SEO, emerging trends marketers can't afford to ignore. I feel like, yeah, most definitely, I feel like this title right here is solid. So that's what we're going to run with. So I'm going to copy this blog title right here and shift over to my other screen. And we're gonna go ahead and add a new blog post. So it'll take a second to populate. So inner post title, I'm gonna just simply paste that right there. Now also right under my title on my blog post, I like to include a picture. Pixels.com is a great source. It's absolutely free um, you know, for stock images. So I'm just gonna grab this image right here because I think that's a, a pretty cool image. I'm going to go ahead and add that to said blog post. Turn off captions. All right, so we have an image there. So let's go back to chat and ask it to write us a blog intro. Can you write me an intro paragraph 
for a blog post titled, please do not use bullet points. Now it's crucial to, to be specific on what it is that you want um, chat GPT for, to write for you. And I include all the time in my requests, make sure to not do this or make sure to include this because it's crucial. You know what you want and you want to make sure that it understands what you want. So let's go ahead and give it a request. It says, in the ever-evolving world of digital marketing, staying ahead of the curve is crucial for success. As search engine algorithms continue to be more uh, sophisticated, marketers must adapt and refine their strategies to maintain a competitive edge. In this blog post, we will explore the future of SEO and delve into the emerging trends that are shaping the industry. From the rise of voice search and artificial intelligence to the increasing importance of user experience. This is solid. So it says, so buckle up and let's roll. So I'm going to copy this, switch over to my other screen. We're going to paste that in right there, just like that. So now we have a solid intro going on. So now let's go back to chat and get some more information here. We're going to go ahead and copy this. Can you write me a list is what we need now of uh, points to cover for a blog post. Let's go ahead and get that request in. Certainly, here's a list of points to cover in your blog post. And it's going to give us what we need to talk about in this blog post. However, we're going to get chat to talk about these things for us. I'm going to let it finish out. Because these are some solid points just, you know, from looking. Maybe I should have asked it for a couple of points and not a million. <laughs> So it says these points will help you uh, guide your blog post and provide some insights. So let's go ahead and just get started with the first few. Voice search optimization. And a lot of this information that I get from chat sometimes is stuff I've never thought about. And that's insane. It's profound when you think about it. So let's go ahead and go back over to our blog post screen. We'll add another layer of text. Let's make this like heading three voice search optimization. Actually, we'll make this heading four. Then we're going to ask chat, can you write some content for this section? Voice search optimization. For the blog post. The future of SEO emerging trends marketers cannot afford. Please do not include any bullet points in this content. So we'll give it enter, and it's going to write the information that we requested. Now this works for literally any industry. And that's why this is crucial because blogging is important for every industry, no matter what your business is. It's a vital source of organic free traffic. And if you notice, while that's writing what it's writing, as far as the keywords here in our title, it automatically used all of those keywords here in that paragraph. And that's profound. And I wanted to take a quick break real quick and tell you about 
Bam! My new book, The Marketing Mastermind, just was released on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Apple Books, and everywhere that you get your books from. Now, this is my author proof, so it has this not for resale stripe on it. But this is now out and available. And the cool thing is, I am offering any one of you that are watching this video right now, free, immediate, full access to the very first chapter of this book. And that first chapter has gems in it anyway. And while I could understand if you don't want to buy the book, that's fine. But I do suggest you at least check out that first chapter because it's free and free knowledge is the best knowledge. Let me show you how to access that first chapter really quick. So what you're going to do is in the description of this video that you're watching right now, you're going to click show more in this very top link. Check out my new book, The marketing mastermind you're going to click this link right here then it's going to take you to my website which is really cool because it has the synopsis of the book there it also has hyperlinks where you can get the book from all the online retailers it's available on but this section right here is how you're going to access the first chapter for free and i'll show you for an example so all you got to do is type your first name your email address click access the first chapter for free. And just like that, immediately, it is going to pop up for you right there in the browser where you can begin reading that first chapter and read the entire first chapter of my book for free. So be sure to check it out. All right, let's get back to the video. Going back to the chat, it's still <laughs> typing away. <laughs> All right, so we have our information here for this first section. Copy that. Go back to this other screen. Paste that right there. It's already formatted correctly. You could add images anywhere, of course. You know that. Um, the main thing is, you know, getting the content. Just like before, we're going to copy that next one. We're going to go over here, add a new text. We need this heading for, paste that text right there. Give it the little hit enter. Then we're going to go back to chat. And just like before, now we have something that we can just copy and paste without having to add extra information. So we have that. Simply copy the next prompt here. We'll paste it over this prompt here. Hit send, and now it's going to write our next section for us. And after it gets done with this, I'll probably write one more bullet point off of all of its recommendations, and then we will uh, finish up this blog post so we can publish it. I will actually include a link to this blog post in the description of the video, just so you can read it you know i i guess if if you if you feel that's necessary <laughs> all right it spit out our data here so we're going to copy this bam go back over here paste that right there looking good go back over here We'll grab one more piece off of this. So we'll hit the long form content and we will actually go ahead and make our request for chat to get to work on this segment for us while we are getting it ready on the blog post. So we have our request in. Go back to the other screen. Go ahead and hit text. Heading four. You know, and just to talk about for a second, the amount of time this is saving you writing content for your blog is, is insane. And making sure that it's all SEO relevant to your blog post in the first place is insane. Because for most business owners that I know, only reason they're writing a blog in the first place is because it helps get them traffic for their business. 
they're not writing a blog because they really want to write a blog. I don't write a blog because I really want to write a blog. You know what I mean? The whole goal of it is just to get free traffic. And that's true to 90% of the businesses that I know, business owners. So any amount of time you can save is time you can spend doing what you are captivated by. You know, what moves you? And that's where we need to spend our time to figure out ways of diversifying our income streams. We don't need to spend 50 hours a week writing blog posts if we can have something automated to do it for us. So we'll go ahead and copy this right here. Paste this right here in BAM. We have a three hitter for a short blog post and it's good to go. So before we go to finish up this blog post and publish it, I'm not gonna worry about putting images in here because of the fact I'm just doing this to show you how it could be done. You know how to put images in a blog post, obviously. But there's going to come a point where OpenAI is going to integrate through API or through a native application integration to WordPress and maybe even to Squarespace. I love Squarespace, so I use Squarespace. But when that happens, there's going to be something that happens to where you, it can just automatically do this back and forth without you having to. Even though in total, even though I've edited this video for you, real time for me, it's been about it's been about 25 minutes that it took me to put together this well thought out blog post that's going to rank solid in SEO. And I could have wrote this blog post on anything, any industry that I don't even have knowledge in, and it would have worked out in my favor. So even in the current state right now, chat GPT-4 can do this, right? But what's going to happen in a year or so when it has all these integrations, or even if you integrated it with Zapier or something, what happens then? It, it's going to be insane. So we're finished up with the blog post, but I want to grab my inline code for a form that I want to include on my blog post. So I'm going to go ahead and hit plus, add code, double click this, control V that. All right. So let's save, look over this. Yours would look way prettier than mine because obviously you would probably include some pictures. But bam, looks good for me. So now we just need to edit these settings real quick and get this thing published. So for a featured image, we're gonna use that SEO image just because it doesn't matter to me that much right now. I'm just trying to get this thing out for you. And then we're going to need chat to write us a quick little excerpt. So let's do that. We'll go back to chat. And we'll copy this. Can you write a short excerpt? for the blog post. Let that generate. And it just simply summarized this whole blog post in an excerpt. So let's go ahead and copy this. So we put that excerpt right here for our excerpt. For options, we went ahead and set that status to publish. So after we save this, it'll publish. Now for SEO is where it's hilarious because of course, we're gonna ask ChatGPT for that. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this, paste that there. Can you write, can you write a short SEO description in less than 399 characters? Whoops, for a blog post. Because you can make requests like this. 
There we go. There it is. We're going to copy that. Move to this page right here. Bam. There it is. We're going to let leave the SEO title, the title of the blog post, because that's why it was constructed in the first place. For social image, we're going to add that image as well. Now, of course, for typical blog posts and stuff, I refine this stuff to make it different. Um, because it's important that everything has its own unique look and fill and design. But for the purpose of this, it is done. So let's copy this, paste it, and see what it looks like, just to verify. All right. That's my pop-up to get a free consultation working. And this looks fantastic. And like I said, I would have added some little images or something like that in there to make it more engaging. But just for someone that might want the data alone, they might like that. And there we go. Just like that, we put a blog post together that will rank solid in SEO. Now, I'm going to be making a lot of videos in the upcoming weeks about chat GPT-4 because I feel like it's powerful. Now, a lot of people and a lot of the suggestions I'm going to have for it, people are going to be afraid like they are now. Well, I'm going to lose my job or this or that. Well, I feel like it's a tool. It's a very necessary and very needed tool, as you'll get to understand in some of these upcoming videos that I'll be releasing. But a tool without knowledge of how to use the tool is worthless. Like, I have not one clue about how to work on cars, and that probably makes me sound bad as a man. But if you was to give me every tool in a shop and bring me in a car with a, a messed up head gasket or something, I wouldn't know where to start. And a lot of the implications for use that I feel that ChatGPT4 has it's for something so powerful if you knew how to use it right. So not only am I going to dive deep into what ChatGPT4 can do in a respective industry or in a scenario or a setting, but I'm also going to show you the right mentality to have behind it so you can utilize it to bear fruit. I appreciate your time and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you found value in this content, please like, subscribe, drop some comments below. Let me know what you thought about it. And also let me know in the comment section below what type of videos you were wanting to see on ChatGPT4 as well. And I'll try to get around to make those. As a side note, ChatGPT4 is open to the public. You just have to be subscribed to OpenAI's Plus Plan in order to utilize it. So. If you feel like it could benefit your business or yourself as a person, then definitely consider that. I think it's $20 a month right now and it's unlimited. So do that. I'll catch you in the next video.